folks we are getting into a new topic today how to talk about science and scientists as we very well know that in our day to day life how science is significant because of science i think the human race has progressed significantly let us get into some deeper insights about science and scientists and more specifically the scientists who are responsible for creating lot of discoveries inventions a person who is studying or exploring something scientific which is based on facts that can be recorded tested checked and verified i think these persons are scientists and science is nothing but something which has a record which can be tested which can be verified that is science there is a proof to some discovery some evidence is there once the proof is there the evidence is there that is science and there are various scientists who delve with this on a regular basis science has progressed and shaped the homo sapiens as the most powerful of all the species there are millions of species but it is the human mankind which has progressed immensely and probably it is because of science and science is in everything you will find that in everything from the discovery of fire to internet i mean there has been innumerable such discoveries and progress across various fields through great explorers of knowledge and these explorers of knowledge are nothing but the scientists and we are going to talk about 10 explorers of knowledge and words derived out of these explorer of knowledge or the roots through which the scientists or the explorers of knowledge come about the first idea is an anthropologist anthropologist is the one who studies human race how we evolved whether we were chimpanzees similar to chimpanzees in the past and how the human mankind evolved how fire got invented how the social being started how agriculture was invented this is the guy it is not a pure science it is a combination of pure science and social science amazing discoveries this anthropologists have made and you can dig deeper into the subject and you will get a lot of insights that what is anthropologist do astronomer astronomers are the one who studies the planets the galaxies the stars their movement i think the universe is far larger than the earth and this person is interested in studying about various other planets over and above earth galaxies stars and how it is going to shape the living on earth and various other matters a geologist a geologist is specifically one who studies our planet earth how it came into being how various things like earthquakes volcanoes and other thing has made this planet earth whether the planet earth in yester years was the same or it has changed it keeps on evolving this is what a geologist is interested into and they have done amazing discoveries on uh, the evolution of earth biologists now the biologists are doing the study of living organisms or life there are several thousands and millions of living organisms biologists are interested into their structure the dna of these living organisms the nucleus how how these living organisms reproduce how it comes into existence there there have been extinct extinction of several living organisms so the biologists are interested into studying all this in botanist botanists are biologists specializing in study of plants the stem 
the roots, the photosynthesis process, and various other ways in which the plants, how plants give food, how the plants come into existence. There are several types of plants, the plants which are there in river, the plants which are there on the earth, and, and so many such things about the plant. The botanist is interested in study of plants. And zoologist. Zoologist is a biologist specializing in study of animals. Human beings are also one of the animals, kind of animals. And studying about various different species of animals, there are different classifications within the animals as well. And they are studying various classification, how the weather is impacting the life of various uh, uh, animals, how they get adapted to various such weather, the process of hibernation and several other things is what the zoologist study. And entomologist. Entomologist is a branch of zoology, I would rather say. And they are specifically interested in studies of insects. Insects. There are several millions of insects and a small insect sometimes is harassing us. Right? We, we get irritated when an insect is coming near to you or if it climbs on your body, it is irritating. I think, but they are also living beings. They, they also have a life. And these are entomologists who study that. What is the kind of food they eat, how they move around, how they survive. This is what entomologists do. And coming from pure sciences to some social sciences language, philologist. Philologist is a basically a lover of language. He studies how language got evolved, Sanskrit, German, Hebrew, English, how language, he studies language and linguistics. This is what a philologist does. And language is a medium of communication and it is so important if it was not evolved in a proper way, if the communication is not there, I think nothing can get progressed. So it's a very important role to play. And several languages have been created from Sanskrit and certain languages which were first found. And from the roots of that, so many languages, so many words were evolved. And we are also studying words evolved from roots from Latin, German, several other languages. And semanticist is again a scientist who studies relationship between language and thinking. He's a person who will try to correlate the thinking behind the language one speaks. He has an, also an important role to play. He's a social scientist who studies the relationship between language and thinking. And a sociologist is one who studies customs across various societies. So many various societies are there. India is a country of diversity. In every state, you have a different culture, you have a different custom. If you go in Maharashtra, there is a different culture. In Punjab, there is a different culture. In West Bengal, there is a different culture. In Gujarat, there is a different culture. And across countries, there are different cultures. Japanese has a different culture. The Chinese have a different culture. The celebrations, the way, the festivals, the, the place where they go to worship, the God, everything is different. And it has come because of certain belief of the past. Right? So these are the sociologists who try to study the custom across various societies to find out uh, the learnings and try to correlate these things. So these are the 10 explorers of knowledge. A lot of work has happened in all these fields. And all these people, the scientists in all these fields, the explorers of knowledge in all these fields have been responsible for creating the world today. That today, the world in which we live, the way in which progress has taken place, I think these are the people who are responsible for that. And we have to give adequate credit to that to learn more from uh, what they do in the subsequent lectures and several other groups, several other people uh, around them 
you would be learning in the forthcoming videos. Thank you very much.